Hmm. What's this whole noise about no sex before marriage? How can someone, how can anyone say that someone should not indulge in sexual activity with someone who has already proposed? I, I mean, I don't understand. The proponent of this whole wicked agenda of no sex before marriage must be completely out of their mind. Yes, if they are not out of their mind, how can they recommend such a wicked thing? Okay, let me ask, ask this question. How do I get to know if my intended is good in the head. Hmm? I think I know the answer. I know the answer to the wickedness that lies in the heart of these proponents of this wicked principle. They are castrated eunuchs. They are eunuchs and frigid females. Yes. If they are not eunuchs and frigid females, how can they want to impose their dryness, their dry life upon the lives of others? <laughs> oh yes, you know what? I think their libido, libido is dead. Yes. Their yeah, sex drive has gone down to zero. That is why they will say that we that are hot-blooded, you know, should be like them. But we can't be like them. How can they think we can be like them? Not to have sex with someone that I'm completely and sexually attracted to? I mean, someone has already proposed to marry me. I have proposed to marry a lady. And someone say I should not get to know her. No, no, no. Something is definitely wrong with these people. They are not of this world. Because if they are of this world, they will understand that um, <clears throat> it is not easy to stay and be looking at someone that you are attracted to and not go under the sheets. 